Today you will learn how to create such bright and rich subtitles, dub videos into different languages worldwide and direct your gaze into the camera if you are record a video using a teleprompter and look it away from it. Hello everyone, it's Alex Yasny. On this channel I talk about video creation and promotion through it. So, the caption service is a very convenient tool for creating subtitles and dubbing videos into different languages. Today we will take a detailed look at this and other features. The link to the service will be in the description and let's get started. We are on the main page of this service and let's go to the tab called products. We see that here we have the option to download the iOS application. There is also a web version, in fact we are currently using it. Additionally, there are a version for Mac OS and there will be an Android application, it's not available now. But if you want, you can click here and fill out a Google form and you will be notified when the Android app is available on the Play Store. Let's go back. We are also interested in this tab called Tools. Here are some useful tools. First of all, Video Compression. We can compress our videos, for example, reduce them from this size to this size. I don't quite understand why this might be necessary, perhaps to transmit videos over slow internet or attach them to an email. If you know why video compression might be useful, be sure to write it in the comments. The next tool is AI Eye Contact. This is an interesting thing that I will tell you more about a bit later. Right now let's explore the tool that allows you to create subtitles and translate voice into different languages. In the service you need to register, which can be done, for example, with a Google account. Let's upload our video and wait. So the file has been uploaded and we can see some of its parameters. If we click on it, we enter the menu where we can work more detailed these subtitles. Firstly, we need to select the spoken language, which is the language you speak in the video. Next, we choose the language we want to translate the subtitles into. We have the option to choose AI Translate, where we only add subtitles, and there is also AI Dubbing, where we add both subtitles and voiceovers in the selected language. Now we have subtitles and video and audio track. The service creates these juicy and cool subtitles for us, and it certainly stands out against other videos with standard subtitles or without them. Let's see what can we do here. Firstly, we can click on the subtitles themselves and move them to the desired position, as well as change it their size. We can also click on the Phrases button, and then we will have the entire video text in one layer. We can also turn off subtitles if we don't need them. Let's go back to the Words tab. Here we can add some words and if necessary we can modify the words by adding or removing letters and delete words using the trash bin button. Note that unfortunately there is no undo arrow here. If you start typing something you cannot undo it. You have to do it manually. We see that artificial intelligence considered some words important and highlighted them in a different color, increased their size and marketed them with the dashes. Using the emphasis and supersize buttons, we can disable this and then the color and size will be the same as the rest of the text. Alternatively, we can highlight a different word with a different color or increase its size. The line break buttons allow moving a word to another line and the page break button moves word into a separate text block. Let's take a look at how to customize the styles of these subtitles. Here on the left on this window we can choose various styles and color presets for our subtitles. There are quite a few styles and they indeed look cool, allowing you to highlight your videos and attract viewers' attention. 
the standard subtitles have become mundane and often appear in many reels, shorts and social media in general, so you might want to choose something different. If we click on this button, we can make a copy of the template and modify colors, fonts, animation styles and other settings. Then we save it as our template and can quickly return to it when creating subtitles for our new videos. To save our video to the computer, we click to the corresponding button and if we click on the projects button, we return to our projects and can edit or delete them. Now let's explore the AI contact future. What is it? Well, recently I made a video about teleprompter apps for phones. In them you can run text on your screen phone while recording, meaning you read the text during video filming and you don't need to memorize a lot of information. It's convenient, but the downside is that when you read the text, you slightly look aside from the camera in horizontal filming and slightly downward in the vertical filming. This is not very good because you lose eye contact with your audience. So this service allows you to direct your gaze precisely into the camera. And let's see how it works. Here you see that I am looking slightly aside. To fix this, we click here, apply AI contact and wait for the generation when our gaze will be directed exactly into the camera. You can now see on your screen the result before and after these changes. As you can see, artificial intelligence corrected my gaze and it looks somewhat better. Friends, let me know in the comments what you think about this service, the error you use it. And if the video was helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Dare to create. See you.